Reinkers from Big Gay Horror Fan. I am feeling quite refined and elegant this morning. <laughs> Because you I, are refined and elegant. Well, I think you only add to that, my friend. That's so very sweet of you. The amazing Meg Foster, trained actress at the Neighborhood Playhouse, and because of all that amazing talent, has delighted the world with so many amazing roles. That's so sweet of you. Tell us a little bit, bit about working on Welcome to Arrow Beach. You work with oh my Lawrence gosh, Harvey. So sweet. I did, Joanna Pettit. Gloria Leroy, Leroy an amazing, amazing character, actress. actress. It was really wonderful, really. Yeah. We shot it in, we shot it in, in um, Santa Barbara. They had this place that was old and had little bungalows, and we all had a little bungalow, and it was by the beach. The bungalow was probably built in the 1920s. And we shot in a building that, well, it was actually a home. It was a huge mansion that had been let go and turned into a school and then we so there were, really was this extraordinary extraordinary home it was wonderful to work with mr harvey another am an extraordinary thing. amazing partner you had was terry o'quinn terry o'quinn and stepfather too so terry o'quinn truly is one of the best actors and the kindest man he has a beautiful singing voice he has a beautiful singing voice <laughs> and lovely jonathan the young man Brandis, very unfortunate. Very yes. wonderful. He yes. was so, he shines. so lovely. Such a lovely young man. His he, essence kind of beams forth in that, just his kindness and, oh, it, and, and your love for, for him and together shows in, in that film. I think you're always very natural and loving in that kind of shows. He and my son were quite alike, actually. Wow. But he was so sweet because he was right at that age, just preteen, just, uh -huh. and for him to be able to save. The, the, mother. the mother. Oh yes. Do you know it, it was? It was so beautiful to watch him. Yeah. He's a beautiful actor. Anyway. Be heroic. But yes, it was. It was just so lovely. Very, very lovely. Lovely actor. That final scene, where I'm sure stunt people were used, but it's just an amazing ballet of violence. You're in a wedding gown. Right. He's flipping you around. Right. Was it mostly stunt people? Or? No, it was mostly Terry and I. I think that the, about that, that was really, I must say, rather creepy. On the table that had all the plates and the, not the cake, but the plates and the accoutrement, yeah. um, they put a fake hand, a rubber hand, and I had to stab the hand, and it was supposed to be Terry's, Terry's hand. Terry's hand, yes. I s stabbed it, and it bounced back. It <laughs> flipped me out. It flipped me out. So that meant I really had to, like, <gasps> Go to force. get it into it. It's weird doing that kind yeah. of thing. It really, really is. But no, we did we did all our own our own things mostly. Really, it's amazing. We were pretty active. Well, I think what Stepfather Two shows as well is just your commitment and your versatility. From to go from Evil Lynn, They Live, Big Mo, Big Mo, Big Mo. We love Big Mo. I got sick with the cigar. Did you? I got sick with the cigar <laughs> a little bit because we were really confined, and um, I was puffing away. I didn't realize how much I was puffing. And that is really. <laughs> shows your cultural diversity as well because that she's one of the first transgendered that's right. characters ever captured on film really 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 i think so that's what a lot of if you, you look into shrunken heads I the film we're talking about right stunning work just thank you you just embody I forget this a lot, you know. woman and man of uh, big mo and i think it's gone on record as being one of the very first transgendered characters especially in a cult film a that's cult geared film. That's right. more towards a younger audience. Exactly. Who knows how many people you helped with that? You know, that saw that and people, young men or girls or girls or boys, then feeling mm -hmm. some body displacement issues. Mm -hmm. that's Big Mo was a powerful character. You know, was. maybe wasn't the best person <laughs> in the world. <laughs> But, uh, oh, but she was wonderful. Well, she, she was, was doing amazing. her best. She was. And she was, she was very was. brave, and she was very brazen, and she loved her girl. She did, yeah. I saw her as somebody with, with power and a sense of humor. Definitely, that comes but through. But anybody, but she, I think she had a good heart. What is one of your favorite projects? You've got like a hundred and some credits. Uh, at least according to the not always reliable IMDb page. IMDb page. Is there something that really... Every, every, every part's... A fruit, beautiful fruit, but mm. a different taste. But I must say, a different story in a way. It, it was just, it was just this time slot. That mm -hmm. film was just in this, this time slot of my life, mm -hmm. and um, I loved the character. I loved her. I loved everything about her, it's and I role. loved that we were telling a story about um, a gay man and. A lesbian and it was like or you knew or you didn't but I mean it it was real it was very real to me were you aware of 
the backlash when that film for, no, first came I, out? No, no. Uh, a lesbian and a uh-huh. gay man who fall in love and get married. So I think a lot of people in the community were like, right. were, were struggling to get right. a voice and a picture of themselves on screen. It, she married him to keep him in the country. They became yeah. best friends first. They had lived their separate, you know, like yeah. she had her girlfriend, he had... But one night they made love. And they fell in love. And they had a baby. They made a baby. And so the two of them were like, what's going on? You know, Stella finds Albert. He, he, she, she has to become the homebody to take yeah. care of the kid. And she was the independent one. And so it's really about, it's about there are no roles and it's also about role playing. playing yep. So it was really this wonderful thing. My other thing I think that's so wonderful for me personally is that I took every woman in my life, my mother and my sisters and my very best and oldest friends, and I incorporated them all into Stella. And I think I was doing that sort of uh, subconsciously. Uh-huh. And so when I see it, I see, I see my all mom, I see my sister. It's Aww, so sweet. It's and amazing. It, it's really dear. And you are so dear as well. Thank and you. such, as I said before, such he an amazing so tale. Oh. He's really the dearest. The dearest in the forest. We're the, the dearest, dearest in, in the, the forest. forest. We have hooves. Of other bucks and does. And We're the dearest. Little <laughs> deer tails. There we go. <laughs> do, do, do. Bye. Bye. You're dear too. You are. Big gay horror fan saying sweet love and pink grew, and you will never feel as awesome as I do unless you could just sit next to this amazing actress, woman, humanitarian, Meg Foster. Thank you. I'm back at you. Hug me. Hug <laughs> I will me. hug you so hard. <laughs>